Hi everybody, welcome back, or if you're new, welcome to Mel Did It Herself. Today we're gonna to be doing an upcycle of this patio set. We have four chairs and a table, and it was actually left for us from the previous homeowner. They just left it when they moved out, so we've kept it since then. They still work well, they're comfortable, but they're looking a little bit dated, getting a little bit older, so I thought I would give it a bit of a facelift. You can see there's some paint splotches on the seat portion here, and then there's also some pieces where the paint's been chipping, so it could use a bit of a, an upgrade. Um, so we have the four chairs, and then there is a table. I don't have any pictures of it, but this is some footage. You can see it in the corner with a little bunny that comes into our backyard when I'm reading sometimes. And now there's babies too, it's so adorable. So anyways, what we're gonna be using for this project are mainly this black flat trim clad rust paint. This is an oil-based spray paint and I think I went through three or four of them to complete this project. It is oil-based and rust proof so it can withstand the elements. And then I wanted to make sure, even though it is oil-based, um, just that it was kind of protected. So I'm using this chalked matte clear top coat. Um, and that's just going to allow for a bit more protection from the elements because obviously these will be outside and it will be subject to hot, cold, rain, snow, you name it. So then for the top of the table itself, I wanted to try out this stone textured spray paint. I've never used it before um, and there was a couple different colors and I later went to Michael's and found even more colors of the textured spray paint so I kind of wish I had chose a different color um, but this is what I opted for and I'm decently happy with the results. So to begin with I put down a tarp just to make sure that I wasn't getting um, anything all over the patio itself and then I just wiped down everything with just water I didn't even use any sort of cleaner on it just to get rid of all the pollen it has been so pollen filled this year in our area um, so it's, they were a little bit yellow and then just dust and dirt you know from being outside just getting a, a thorough wipe down um, with a kind of microfiber cloth Nothing too fancy and just making sure that everything is fully cleaned and dried prior to um, spraying it with spray paint. Because if there's any kind of oil or any sort of dust remaining and then you spray paint over it, it's going to affect the finish and how smooth the spray paint looks. So just make sure you're thorough. Even if you can't see the dirt, just give it a really thorough wipe down. Then it was time to spray paint. So with that black spray paint, I'm just working my way around. I opted to start the chairs on their sides. So I would do one side, let it dry, and then flip it over to the other side, do that side, allow it to dry. And by allow it to dry, I mean leave it for like a few hours so that it's fully dried, not just dried to the touch. And then I did the the front or the like the part you would sit on and that you would see when it was sitting up. And the reason for doing this is just because I figured doing the sides, they aren't kind of like right in your field of vision. So if for whatever reason it wasn't fully dried or, you know, there was any sort of scuffs on it and imperfections, if it was on the side, I'd prefer that than it being on the front or on the back. So it's just a little bit more inconspicuous. When spray painting, I'm not doing it here, but you really should wear a mask. Um, I am wearing sunglasses just kind of to protect my eyes, but I really should have worn a mask. Um, you can just, you just get it in like your nose and you don't realize you're inhaling it. It's fumes too, which isn't good for you. So do as I say, not as I do. Wear a mask, make sure you're protected and doing it right. And then you'll see, I'm just kind of doing little spurts of spray paint. It did uh, a couple light coats as opposed to one thick coat just to make sure it was more smooth even finish trying not too much to like focus on getting a perfect opaque layer the first round even though I found myself kind of like going a little bit hard on it when I was trying not to but for the most part I was just trying to keep it light and keep the can moving and it did turn out um, pretty well like I'm very happy with how the finish turned out so you can see here for the front, this was the one spot that I really 
kind of regret doing it this way because I went through multiple cans of spray paint to complete this project and the large majority of like the usage of the spray paint went towards this I don't know the seat part I don't know what you would call it it's plasticky but you can see it's obviously um like it's not one piece. It's like woven. That's the word. It's woven. So there's holes. So when you are spraying the spray paint, a lot of it's kind of getting lost. And that ends up with a lot of waste as well as having to like use a lot more to get all the little nooks and crannies. And you can see I tried doing it in a couple of different patterns of doing like stripes and then going back over it. But this is what it turned it out like. Um, I am happy with how they look. I think they look pretty smart in comparison um and makes them feel a little bit more modern so then i went through and just did light coats on the entirety of the table and you can see i wasn't precise in terms of where the glass started and stopped i just kind of tried to not make it over lap onto the glass too too much but i didn't tape it off or anything and that's because i knew that i was going to be covering the glass portion later on so after that was fully dried for a day actually then i taped the edges so that when i'm doing the stone finish spray paint it doesn't get onto that black spot and there were a couple of places that i needed to touch it up after because there is a lot of overspray with this stone um, textured spray paint so keep that in mind if you're going to do this for a project but I got it all taped off and then it was time to just go with the textured spray paint, which was, it's kind of weird because it comes out obviously not as opaque as regular spray paint would. Um, so you can see the texture in it there from the angle that we're at. And I ended up using two cans of this textured spray paint. So this project wasn't super cheap um, or like inexpensive to complete because I ended up using like so many cans of paint. Um, it was cheaper than buying a new set of this size. Um, certainly it would have been multiple hundreds of dollars, but I think I could have done it cheaper if I had painted with a paintbrush the, um, the portion that you sit on the chairs or alternatively just bought, um, like kind of looked out for a sale and bought cushions for the seats and just left them gray and just painted like the frames of them probably would have been the more cost effective option but I mean it ended up being certainly under a hundred dollars I think probably closer to the fifty dollar range um once I took everything into consideration because I did already have the matte clear uh top coat in my supply closet so that was good and then the most satisfying tape peel off because everyone needs one of these in a video look at it yes work mm, just delicious okay guys so here we are with the end product i am very happy with the black i think it really brought more modern sleek feel to it um the top of the table, I mean, I don't love the color because I think it matches the patio a little bit too much. But once it's all styled up and there's things on it to break up the color, I do like it much more. I think I'm going to get some black um, placemats just to kind of break it up and make that theme continue on. But I am happy overall with it. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And you can check me out on Instagram too at Mel Did It Herself. Have a great day. Bye.